nutjob pastor goes on a literal witch hunt. On February 13th, during the end of the service, the Global Vision Bible Church's pastor, Reverend Greg Locke, began telling his church about the witches amongst them. He shared his quote-unquote conversation with a demon who disclosed to him the names of six witches in his church. Quote, we got the first and last names of six witches that are in our church, Locke proclaimed. He explained that the demon who gave him the names of the witches was from an exorcism he performed on a new member. He then continued to recount his conversation with the demon, complete with grungy voice switching. He warned the church members that if they did anything objectionable, he would expose the names. The reverend assured his congregants that he was being truthful by swearing on the Bible. And for those who are not aware, Pastor Locke is nationally infamous for his conservative, homophobic, and dangerously conspiratorial sermons. All right, there's a clip. We should play the clip. Yes, this Him is Mehta, wild. Ahmed Mehta provided the clip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's watch it. We got first and last names of six witches that are in our church. And you know what's strange? Three of you are in this room right now. Three of you in the room right now. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. You devil worshiping Satanist witch. We oh cast God. you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. Duck. You so much as cough wrong, and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. You were sent to this church to destroy us. You were sent to this church to lure us in. You were sent to this church to cast spell. Listen, some of you been sick because you befriended that witch. Two of you in my wife's ladies Bible study and you know who you are and we gonna ask you to get out or I'll expose you in front of everybody. We got all six of their names. All six of them. Two of them had already been confirmed before that thing ever even said it. First and last night, this chick is new to our church and don't know none of you. So you got a choice. You can leave with your spells all by yourself. Or I'll show up next Sunday with a stage full of brooms. And I'll give you one and I'll fly your tail up out of this place in the name of Jesus. But we ain't playing your spell casting, witchcraft, nonsense, sage burning games. Everybody okay? <laughs> the witches are like, nope. <laughs> oh, you're a dog, too. You're out, witch. Okay, oh, what my the God. Hell is going on? What is this? How? Like, this is so many. There's so many different levels to this. Is this like a personal? I think like it could be potential. Okay, my guess, which I have no proof for, but I am but i would bet money on it is that there was a personal uh this you know grudge or something happening drama happening between these women and his wife and people are just talking drama behind each other and he's like i know what to do i'm just gonna come out and call them witches and threaten them by threaten them by showing them that i could just call them witches i know i know who they are and they they're speaking bad behind my back if i come out in front of everybody and threaten them that i'm going to mention their name as witches and they see that there's all these people that now they're going to think we're witches that's a that's a very legitimate threat right like i think that's a very powerful threat that you have they could use against somebody just to settle scores or just to end the drama right what do you think um yeah i, I think it's a tour so hemet meta follows him very closely and oh. his antics and the live chat is killing me right now with the most hilarious comments <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, but hemet meta was talking about how um 
he's been switching between a lot of really controversial subjects, including some topics that we can't talk about on YouTube because we could get punished for misinformation. So I'm not like a lot of people are already familiar with him because of these really crazy stances he takes on these things, but I can't talk about it here. So you guys can just go look it up. Um, but uh, yes. And so wait, hint at them. What do you hint at them? No, we can't. Um, for the things that go on your arms or maybe the things that go over your face or, uh, oh, maybe that talking about the pandemic party mandate. is of the devil and that they do oh. things to children. Um, okay. 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 Anti-Semitic conspiracy theories mixed with the whole, uh, responding to pandemic measures, that kind of Q conspiracy theories. Yes. Kinda. He is adjacent. Yeah, okay to that whole he's q8 he q jason okay <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make that a new thing q jason um yeah. but yeah so heaven met when he was uh, like reporting on this was talking about how he thinks that he's just trying to switch to other topics that are going to like again get that kind of um attention and outrage um or you know he's he's moving in between these to try to stay relevant that's what he was um hypothesizing but holy uh, cow. Hmm. I love this comment from Ghost Bunny. <laughs> there be witches in this church, does an iris jig. We ain't afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Saying this is very David Koresh feel. So for those who don't know, this David Koresh is like a, a cult leader. Um, hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, Pastor Greg Locke definitely preaches a lot of things and promotes ideologies that are explicitly dangerous and are um, definitely fit within certain models of cult behavior and cult thought. Um, so yes, I, you definitely, you get that vibe for a reason. Um, mm. Oh, interesting. Secular Rarity is saying, I mean, seriously, he has had a total change in character over the last few years. And there are stories from his ex-wife and others that really do seem to indicate a mental break. Huh, I wasn't aware of this. If true, that's very interesting. You know, it's sometimes it's hard to tell how much of it is someone leaning into the this type of rhetoric because it is a moneymaker. He, his popularity, he's exploded over the past two years. I've never seen him talked about so much before. Um, and so how much of it is just, you know... Self aligned interest in that vein, and then how oh, much your audio does got he cut. actually leave? Say that last part again. Your audio got cut for a sec. Oh, how I was just saying, how it... much of it is self aligned interest, and then oh, it got how much cut again, guys? Is it just cutting for me, or is it just for is it just for me, or is it for everybody? Is your is your headset out of battery? I'm not using my headset. Oh, okay, so maybe it's just me. But yeah, go on. Um. Well, now I can't remember what I was saying. Or, or does he actually believe what he's saying, basically? No, it was just, it was just me. Okay. Um, but yes, I, I, I just knew we had to talk about this because it was just so wild. Um, I was like, oh, so this is where we are in 2022. <laughs> this is where we are in America. Okay, okay. <laughs> All uh, right, so. One thing I it's a concern here is like this is not a good method of getting rid of witches. Like you come in here and you're promising them, no, you're promising them new brooms. Did you see it at the very end? Mm -hmm. Like what kind of brooms are gonna be? Like Nimbus two thousand? He's like, I'm gonna get you all brooms and watch you fly out of here. I'm like more witches are gonna show up. I'm gonna like, where's my broom? <laughs> like free, free free gifts for witches? Like that's not a good way to get rid of witches. Yeah, it's um pretty interesting. Like, I wonder what he thinks witches are actually like. Does he mean people who just practice Wicca? Because they don't actually do stuff with brooms like women that. who speak will be based on Christianity standards. Okay, <laughs> women with okay any form of any woman who does anything basically other than full submission is enough to be at some point in history that was enough to for you to be a witch blank name is saying is this the same guy who burns harry potter books yes this is like the move he went to after burning the harry potter books and that was partially partly else what 
Hemet Metal was talking about. Uh, this is kind of like in line with this satanic, this this particular flavor of satanic panic that he's gone down. I mean, he's been on the satanic panic thing for a while, but now it's kind of shifted into slightly a, a witchcraft vein. A lot of times they think that because the Greek word for pharmaceuticals is like pharmakia or something, they think that, and then that's like vaguely referenced in the Bible in some place that they think this is a sign of witchcraft and that pharmaceuticals are witchcraft and all this kind of stuff. Okay, we are YouTube. That's not what we're saying. Okay, that's not what we're saying. That's what we're just talking about other people's crazy beliefs that we're against. Okay, um, every time we talk about health related stuff and drugs and stuff, mm -hmm. we have to be very careful. You could get a YouTube might be stupid and think that we're saying it. Okay, last time we got a strike like that. Um, by the way, burning Harry Potter. Oh, burning right. harry potter book burning harry potter books is like in, in supporting harry potter technically because you kind of have to buy them no to burn them you be funding <laughs> harry, like wouldn't you be supporting harry potter to when you're burning harry potter books um I, I guess if you're buying a new copy if you just already had some available to you you go I mean, they got the funding. People's. Like this is like book burning doesn't work the same way that it did before. Okay, like mm -hmm. books used to be books used to be uh, the main containers of information. That's where you stored information, right? Now books are not like the main stores of information. They're stored digitally. The books are just a representation of the stored data for you for con people's convenience, right? So book burning if you burn a book you're not removing the content the content will always be there and it's always going to be accessible to people all you're doing is like taking getting rid of copies that were already paid for um I, I, either you're buying new copies then therefore you're funding it or you're if you're burning copies that are, were already bought then the the process of funding it was already done this is not going to yeah. remove anything yeah, yeah so it's, just weird. it's symbolic Oh my gosh, Puya is saying someone was at the book burning event and threw in the Bible and said, Hail Satan. It was hilarious. Oh, wait, Puya, funny. are you serious? Can you send that to that's me on Instagram? That would be, I yeah. really want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> from Stormy on Twitch is saying Armin needs to wave, but it's not us banner every time we talk about some strike worthy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we should, though. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's we should. Us. Wait, I could do that. I could add a banner right now. Hold on. Just oh my there. gosh, wait, you're right. This is perfect. How did we not think of this sooner? Um. Oh my gosh. And we could make it scroll. Here. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, it's not <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we'll um, have this every time we're saying something controversial. <laughs> Describing someone else's controversial. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Cool. Good idea. Good idea. All right. All right. And highlight that comment. What's funny so is that good. I have some friends that live in the area of this guy in his big church, and they're like, mm. So what do you say? You fly down here, we go expose ourselves as some witches. <laughs> yeah, see what that. Yeah, what's going to happen to you if you were like, yes, I'm here, I'm a witch, I was promised a broom. What will happen? Try it. I don't know. Somebody They'll try probably it. like yell at you and pull you out of their tent congregation. Would and... you physically, would you physically be in danger? Uh, I think okay. they would definitely very strongly physically ex escort you out. I don't think they would yeah. take it farther than if that. They, if they assault you, then you could press charges. Yeah, I mean, this is this is this is my pocket, right? Yeah, this is America. We can, yeah, we can do so that. make sure you have your phone out the entire time and recording live streaming the entire thing so that, yeah, all right, <laughs> just, just oh. like raise your hand, like I'm by here. the way, this is actually, guys, actually, don't do any of this, okay? We were just hypothetical, like, it, we don't want to encourage anybody to do anything that is risky or may put you in danger, okay? So we were just like, this is just like, okay. We have to be very careful what we say. Jesus I know. Christ. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're just joking. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're not encouraging any of this behavior, okay? Show up right. you're like, I was promised a broom. 
Oh, apparently for the guy who built burnt the Bible, they didn't physically do anything to him, but they did try to give him an exorcism. By force? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.